famous girl won't pay at a restaurant she lives to regret it. 10,000 likes in the first hour. Oh, oh no that's way. insane. <laughs> Not that I'm surprised. What are people saying? Gorgeous. You should be on the cover of a magazine. <laughs> Love that fit. Did you get it at for... What? This girl just 818's asking if I got it at Forever 21. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna give her a piece of my mind. Wait, no. You are not built for social media if you respond to hate like that. Holy, that's not even really hate. Where do you get that fit, Forever 21? Oh my God. Wait, wait till some dumb tells you you look like Schmeagle and that your voice is annoying or some right? Like that, like genuine, like start bullying you in the comments. Uh, that's not even an insult. She probably meant it nicely. A lot of people love that story. I don't want to see your ugly face in my comments anymore. I only wear designer clothes, not cheap knockoffs. Do you think there's some influencers that are like this off camera? I would say few, but yeah, I would say a lot of, I, I would say mainly with TikTokers too, right? I know I'm a TikToker, but I would say TikTokers that blew up and then moved to LA, like right when they blew up, have like the biggest egos ever. Uh, not all of them. Uh, I'm just saying that like that, that's where you're going to find the most amount of people that are so financially irresponsible and banking on the fact that they're not going to fall off and six months uh that's insane to me like dude people with a million followers moving to la like you're probably making 60 grand a year and you just moved to one of the most expensive places to live uh, with no idea on whether or not your career is going to last from forever 21 like you Mandy. no I, I don't think you should send that too late i already did and i'll block her too so she can't even respond Ugh, annoying and here you go. Let Only buys designer clothing, but is eating at a diner. I'm not making fun of diners either, dude. I'll fucking go sit at a Denny's at fucking 1 a.m. and wait 10 hours for them to bring me my fucking food because the, the fucking waitress fell asleep in the back and they ran out of milk. That happened to me one time at a fucking, at a Denny's, by the way. Ordered a milkshake. They didn't have milk. What fucking, what fucking place doesn't have milk? Who's you? There's nuts in the salad. Are you trying to kill me? Oh my gosh. Did you tell me you had a nut allergy? No. You should have asked. You're right. I'll go talk to the what? chef. What? I don't have time to just sit around and wait. Unlike you, I have important things to do. Ugh. Just take it off the tab. Go make me a new one and we'll take the two to go. Okay. I'll be back. Oh my god, yo, I would never be able to be a fucking uh, a waiter. Swear to god, if somebody did that to me and I was a waiter, I would just be like, you're a bitch. <laughs> you're a fucking dickbag. Why are you such an asshole? <laughs> I'd get fired that day, and I wouldn't care. I, I wouldn't care. I'd be like, you're a fucking loser. You were a little dramatic, don't you think? Seriously, Alicia? My life is on the line, and you think I'm being dramatic? Okay. Well, you still could have been nicer. I know you're this big influencer now, but like my mom used to say, be nice to people on your way up because you might pass them again on your way down. Unless your mom gets 10,000 likes in an hour, not taking advice from her. Bro, 10,000 likes in an hour is like good, but what platform is that on? Like if you get 10K likes in an hour on TikTok, you're going to make a whopping $10 from that video hitting a million views. Like, that's not, that's not enough to make a living off of. Unless you're in the Minute Creator Fund or some shit. Here is your check. And I took that off. Wait, you're still charging us for the salad? Nuh-uh. After your screw-up, everything should be free, including my friend's meal. Mandy, that is Bro, she got so not- goggles on. Oh, hell no. Yeah, that's how you know they're a fucking dickhead if they got those clout goggles on that's the fucking here. $4 Amazon. $4 Amazon sunglasses. Leave it, Alicia. We're not paying. I would pay. 
I'm I am scared at restaurants to send shit back. I can't even I could hate the food and I'll still I'll still just eat it. Like the social anxiety and and pain for me to be like I don't like this. <laughs> it's just ah like I'm fine. like my brain do the second I I've ordered shit before that sounds so good. And then they put it in front of me, and I'm like, oh, this looks fucking disgusting. And then, and then I'll still eat it. Or I just won't eat, right? And I'll fucking, I'll stop somewhere else on the way back. I've returned shit twice. I'll return it if they fuck up, right? Like, bad. Not if they, like, leave a topping on, if it's, like, a burger. But I'm saying if they, like, actually fuck up the order, I'll, I'll send it back, right? But I've I've sent shit back one time because I didn't like it, and it was actually because it was disgusting. It was like genuinely foul. Uh, I'm not sure I can. But I still didn't say that, right? When the waitress came over, I I didn't say this is fucking disgusting. I said I don't really like this. Can I have something else? <laughs> when I wanted to say this, you shouldn't even have this on the fucking menu, right? Like, this is. This is disgusting. Like, why would you ever even serve this to somebody? Do that. Well, you better figure it out. Do you know who I am? Um, no. I'm, I'm sorry. You look familiar, though. Look me up on TikTok. I have over a million followers. And I would hate that to That means almost jack fucking shit. Dude, you could have a hundred million followers, and there's still a fucking... There's only like a one in fucking 50 chance that they're going to even know who you are. Actually, one in, one in 80 to make a story telling that everyone. Was 22 mil? Yeah, but like, dude, I have 22 mil. Me going in public and being like, you don't know who I am is still the most obscene shit that I could ever do, right? 22 million people is a lot, right? 22 million out of 8 billion worldwide is fucking nothing. How your restaurant sucks. Now go talk to your manager and figure this out. So um, that girl over there, she doesn't want to pay for her food. She said she'll tell her TikTok followers not to come here. So what should I do? Oh, yeah. My oh, kids no. Don't... What are the odds any of her TikTok followers are going to be within that fucking, within that goddamn radius of going to this fucking diner and butt fuck nowhere? Who cares? Half of her followers probably aren't even within a, a hundred miles of this. Talk about her. She recently went viral for some dance videos and it... gained like a ton of followers. Surprised you don't know her, Cass. You on TikTok? Yeah, but I don't have a lot of followers. Who is she? I think her name is Mandy something. No way. Mandy Bailey? I went to middle school with her. I thought she looked familiar. You know, it's not that much, and we don't want to get on her bad side, so just tell her we'll comp her. Fuck that! Fuck that! I don't give a shit if fucking a uh, 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 goddamn uh, uh, God himself walks into my fucking restaurant. If he eats the food, you're paying for the fucking food. I don't care. Unless I genuinely fucked up, right? Like you tell them you have a nut allergy, you put nuts on the salad. I'd be like, okay, I'll comp your other food. But like, what? Macy, sorry, no photos. I have a huge deal to close. Probably like three years of your salary. <laughs> I would punch her in the face. I am so sorry about her. It's all right. Not much has changed since middle school. <laughs> well, Mandy, I have to say, we are all very excited to work with you. Same. I so really wish I could be in the the mind of somebody that's, like, obscenely conceited. Like, I used to be more self-absorbed, like, two, three years ago. But I would never say I was, like, a narcissist, right? Like, she's a narcissist. Like, I wish I could see what being a narcissist is like, right? Not just conceited. Like, everybody's been conceited at one point, some more than others. I would say I'm way more humble than I am now from three years ago, but... I would say, like, narcissism is on another level, right? So, are you looking for me to do a couple Instagram posts with your products, or...? We are thinking much bigger than that. We want to release... 
friendship bracelets. Oh. They are not real gold to keep the price affordable for younger people. And the best part is they come with an anti-bullying campaign behind them. Oh. Cringe. Um, uh, I'm not buying that shit. What the fuck? A friendship bracelet with an anti-bullying thing? Like, yeah, it's for a good cause. You're just going to get the person bullied that buys that. Anti-bullying. That is a cause I am so passionate about. Believe it or not, even I get bullied. Earlier today, for example, there was this... Some girl said I don't buy designer. Girl? Making fun of my outfit on Instagram. Oh my gosh. That is not bullying. Like, that is not bullying. Bullying is like the repetitive borderline harassment of somebody when they've done nothing to, to like, uh, warrant it, right? Somebody saying your outfit looks ugly is rude. It's not bullying. What'd you do? What I always do. Constructive criticism? No. Constructive criticism would be like, I love the outfit, but add this, right? Somebody being like, your outfit makes you look like your Lord Farquaad. That's not constructive criticism, right? That's, <laughs> okay, that might be bullying. <laughs> okay, like that might be bullying. If, somebody, if you're posted up and somebody's like, you look like Lord Farquaad, that's like, that might be bullying. Bond with <laughs> kindness and love. Because in my heart, I just want the best for them. That is so sweet. <laughs> I wish my daughter could think like that. She's the whole reason I'm doing this. When I learned that she was getting bullied at school, seeing how sad it makes her, I realized I need to do something. So what better way than a whole campaign around friendship? <laughs> And with you, Mandy Bailey, as the face Yo, of it. Yo, what do you do as a parent if your kid is getting bullied? Fuck. What do you do? Like, if your kid comes home and he's like, I'm getting bullied. God, I wouldn't want to tell my kid to, like, fight the guy or a girl. But, like, ugh, what do you, you can't, you can't, like, tell on them. Because then they're going to get more bullied, right? Because then you're a snitch, right? I may give my, give your kid a stink bomb. And make the kid break it in the other kid's backpack. Then people are going to be like, oh my god, you hear Timmy smells like shit? And then he's going to be dealing with his own fucking problems, right? You want Put a dead rat in his locker, something like that. Plant, plant cocaine in his bag. <laughs> plant coke in his bag. Be like, yo, what the fuck is that? You throw it at the teacher. Me to be the face of it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's a whole magazine cover involved and everything. Here's the contract. Take as much time as you need to look over it. And when you're ready, there's a $50,000. $50,000? I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> There's more of that. I want to read the contract. <laughs> Might want to read the contract. That's my number one tip to anybody that ever does social media. It, it's not an iPhone terms of service. If you're ever getting paid for something, read the contract. Campaign goes as well as we hope. Oh, it will. It definitely will. So, how does this work? Do you give me the cash now or? <laughs> Hey, Alicia. You have a Porsche now? How in the world can you afford all of this? Easy. I just have to put down 5K and then pay another 5K. Oh, yeah. Only put down 5K for fucking 60, for 68 month fucking uh, financing. Yeah, no big deal. No big deal. I don't have the money to pay, to pay this off. Uh, I'll be paying it off for the next six years, but no big deal. Right? Yeah. By the time I pay it off, the car will have broken down and need fucking, I'll need a new one. But, you know, not not a problem or anything. I'm just going to pay this Porsche off for fucking three grand a month for, for the next fucking uh, three years. And you're not worried about running out of money? Nope. 
The CEO said that the 50K is just the first payment. There's gonna be lots more where that comes from. <laughs> Here, uh, film a quick TikTok of me. There's this trend going viral where you say something about yourself and then put it in a rap. What? One thing about me is I just got a Porsche. I struck a deal with a jewelry store and... Hey! Hey! Hey, girly. I just toured the inside. Ooh, you are gonna love this place. It's a little bit over the... the fuck is this guy? Price range you gave me, but well, once you see it, you won't want anything else. Oh, I'm so excited. How much over her price range are we talking? Yeah, $5,000. Five oh. grand a month? Oh, five grand over budget. You yeah, see, that's another thing. LA influencers paying fucking four G's a month on rent. Fucking two G's a month on their car. Like, bro, you are burning. Br that's Joe Biden. <laughs> Joe Biden, if he was in the Barbie movie. Budget. <laughs> so 10 grand. 10 K. Mandy, I don't think you should be spending don't this kind of money. Don't worry about it, Alicia. Think about the content I can create here. It'll pay for itself. Bro, that's so stressful. Come on, now. Let's go look inside. <laughs> um, oh, wow. I, I can't believe it's you. Do you mind if I take a selfie with you? Sorry, I don't do That's never how the interaction goes. They always, somebody will walk up to me. Are you Joe? <sighs> I want to say no so bad one day just to see just to see how awkward it is for them. Ugh. Like I, I was at a store the other day. Some guy walked up to me. He was like, are you Joe? I'm like, I don't get recognized that often. But I mean, it's like, you know, if I'm, if I'm out in a public area with a lot of people, it might like I might like some one or two people might walk up to me. But it will be like, are you Joe? I'm like, I just want so bad. I just want to be like, no, I get that a lot. No, I'm Quebel Cop. <laughs> Bro, half of the people wouldn't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. The majority of the people that walk up to me recognize me from TikTok. The odds the kid would understand the reference is like zero. He'd be like, who the fuck is Quebel Cop? Photos when I don't have makeup on. Oh, it's okay. I, I can use a filter. Didn't you hear me? I said no. Now buzz off. Um, hello. Oh, great. You're that waitress. Cass. Mm-hmm, whatever. Listen, I need this dress. Well, I saw it first. It doesn't matter. I'm wearing this for a photo shoot, which I'm sure is way more important. Straight up, I'm buying that dress even if I don't want it, and I'm returning it the next day so she can't have it. I am I am being that petty. A hundred percent. Oh, oh, you needed this dress? Were you just, oh no, I, I wasn't looking. I'm, I'm definitely buying this. Buying it, returning it. And then whatever you were planning. <laughs> you know, for the face of an anti-bullying campaign. Oh, you saw that. <laughs> yeah. A anyways, my point is, I can't believe that you still treat people like garbage. Still? What do you mean still? That's what I was trying to tell God, you. God, I hate people that actually sound like that. Oh my God. Oh, like that, like when you, when you, still. What do you mean stale? Ugh. The restaurant. We went to middle school together. Cassie Goldberg. You still don't remember me, do you? No offense. You're just not very memorable. That's nice. Well, I remember you. You ruined everything for me. You see, when I was little, I got diagnosed with this rare health condition and had to take these pills. The pills helped me feel fine. But little did I know, one of the side effects would be they make me gain weight. So I felt really insecure about myself all the time. That was bad enough. But what made things 10 times worse is that you decided to point out how much weight I had gained in front of other students. You made fun of me constantly. To the point... Yo, I don't know if this is just my life, but do you guys have people that get bullied at your school for being fat? Like, I never witnessed that. I don't know if it was just mine, but I never saw people get bullied for being fat.
I know it happens, but I'm just saying it was so odd that, like, I never saw that happen. I mean, obviously online I have. I'm saying, but in person, I never saw somebody be like, oh, well, you're fucking fat. So I could get away from you. So you see, that's why I still do it. <laughs> not, not the so you see. Oh, so you see. So much insecurity about my body. And that's why I lost so much weight, too. So in other words... I swear to God, if she says I motivated you to lose weight... You should be thanking me for making you look way better. Well, you're welcome. Hi, hi, Mandy. Thank you so much for coming into our boutique. If I can get you anything, if I can help you with anything... Actually, yes, there is. If you could just bring this up for me, that would... Oh, sure. Pardon me. I'm ripping that dress. I'm ripping that dress in half. In a half. I'll pay for it, too. Fucking lighting that bitch on fire. Thanks. Oh, my God. Her card's going to decline? Nah. You really think that's what's going to happen? Because she's been paying so much money? Things are going... Fuck! Amazingly. Not only is the bracelet a hit, but it has also helped all of our stores to generate lots of publicity and, most importantly, make a positive impact in the community. That's great. <laughs> Although... I can't say I'm surprised. So, I know I said the last agreement was just to start, but now that we know this works, we want to extend your contract for next year, too. So, we're thinking... $250,000?! <laughs> Yo, don't do that in negotiation, right? If you're ever bargaining on a contract for a price, don't go, $8,000?! go let's up it right <laughs> no matter your gut could drop at the amount of money you read on that contract ask for more right ask for more if a company comes to you with an offer they are nine times out of ten waiting for you to say no and counter offer right and then you meet somewhere in the middle uh, you're kidding me <laughs> no <laughs> all you have to do is sign on the dotted line and it's all yours it's like a 20 page contract she's not even reading it that shit could say we could use your likeness for the rest of eternity <laughs> um boss i think we have a problem oh it can wait trust me you're gonna want to see this oh it's her one hate comment to the person about forever 21 what's going on there seems to be a video going around that mentions your name. Play it. One thing about me, I was bullied in school by Mandy Bailey, who thought body shaming was cool. She laughed at me and made me cry. It got so bad that I wanted to die. Yo, that's, that's like actually mad cringe, though, that she made that fucking video. <laughs> Yo, that's corny as shit. Like, actually, why is she partaking in the trend? That was a banger? No, it was not. It goes on. She says a lot. Oh, she probably goes on about the shit at the restaurant. Yeah, 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 yeah. That would make more sense. Of things. You probably want to watch it all. Did that really happen? Oh, come on. She's just jealous because my career is taking off and she's just some waitress at a restaurant that's just one voice out of millions mandy has a point we can't just assume because one person oh, said there's that. a lot more i mean that's just the most popular one it, it's really going viral uh, let me see oh, oh it's gonna be that kid that met her it's gonna be that kid that met her and she said i don't want to take a picture and he's gonna get on Here's another one from this girl, uh, Jess818. Oh, one thing about me is Mandy Bailey sent me a DM. It wasn't anything nice. I won't even- That's not even a rap! It's not even fucking in tempo! One thing about me is Mandy Bailey sent me a DM. What? Sent me a DM. It wasn't anything nice. I won't even pretend. She called me ugly, made fun of my clothes, and blocked me. And this goes to show not all influencers are who they pretend to be. <laughs> That's not even a rap. 
Yo, if somebody posted that, they'd get made fun of for fucking up the trend that bad. I can play more if I've you... seen enough. What happened to always responding with kindness and love? Is it too late to sign that contract? You want my dead ass take? The company wouldn't care. Unless they're a non-profit that's making money off the, the anti-bullying. Uh, or that's not making money off the anti-bullying. A company only cares if they'll make money, right? If the overall effect of the influencer gives them a net positive, they won't care. It's crazy how many followers you lost from it. What happened to the Porsche? I had to get rid of it and my new apartment. After that waitress called me out on TikTok, everything went downhill. Gosh, I am so sorry. I'm sure your agent will get you another brandy. Ugh, that's over too. My agent and my manager dropped me. It's like, what else can go wrong? If you're here to talk to me about- oh, Joe Biden. Finding a new place. Honestly, I can't afford well, it. That is not why I'm here, okay? I just came by to make sure you're cleared out because I have someone coming over to see this place. That was fast. Yeah, it's this new up and coming girl. She's just gone viral, has lots of crazy support. Actually, here she comes now. You are trying to move into my place? They're trying to say that in two days, she made enough money to spend $10,000 a month on a place when she was just living paycheck to paycheck, being a waitress. In two days of doing social media, she developed such a massive audience that she could fucking pay for $10,000 a month. What the fuck? What did Nike sponsor her? You can't afford it as just some waitress. You're wasting your time. She is not just some waitress. Uh, Cass is the new face of anti-bullying. I mean, hello, she has a ton of big brands behind her. You do? Yeah, including that 250K deal, thanks to you. Shall we? <gasps> oh. Funny how karma goes around. Good luck with everything. I did try to tell you that you should Why is she still friends with her? I'm not getting it. Like, I understand their childhood friends, but like, she's li she's just always an asshole, right? It's not like she, she had like a bad slump where she was a shitty person for like a year, right? She's just always been a dickhead. Be nice to people on your way up because you might just pass them again on your way down. You really think I need a lecture? Oh, I think I heard that from somewhere. <laughs> oh, when did I hear that? Oh, I think I heard that. I, when did I hear that? Oh, come on. Let's go to Forever 21. I need a new outfit. Can I shop at... <sighs> Never mind. Rich girl refuses to tip waitress. Instantly regrets it. We'll add that to another day. Oh, that's from two fucking years ago. So that'll be a brutal watch. We'll watch that another day.